Welcome to the Force Tutorials Maya Masterclass. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at how to mirror and merge components inside Maya. So as you can see, we made this hammer in our previous tutorial and our hammer was pretty symmetrical. So we modeled one side of the hammer and now we can simply mirror the side that we modeled to the other side and have the complete hammer. Without having to model both sides of the hammer, we can simply get away with modeling one side of the hammer and simply just mirroring to the other side. So in order to mirror the object, your object needs to be at the center of the world. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to select the faces right here and I'm going to delete those. And then I'm going to go back into our component mode and select these vertices and go back to our side view. And I'm going to snap this side to the center by pressing the X key. You can snap to grid and I'm going to snap it to the center of the world. Let's go back to our object mode. And as you can see now our hammer is a perfect half and it does not have a face on the inside. So now we can simply select our object, go into our mesh menu and select the mirror option from here. Right now, let's go into the settings of our mirror option. And in the mirror option, you have a lot of settings you can control if you want to cut geometry. So if we had not moved our geometry and deleted our faces, our mirror tool would have cut everything that was after the middle point of the grid. But since we have done it manually, it doesn't have to, but we're going to keep this option on. You can mirror with respect to the world or you can mirror with respect to the object. Just as we could work with the symmetry, if your pivot is at the center of your object, you can mirror it with respect to the pivot or you can use the world axis. Right now, we are using the world axis. You can also choose the axis you want to mirror your object in. You can mirror in X, Y, Z. You can also mirror in the plus X direction or minus X direction. Right now we want to use the minus X direction which we have selected right here. You can combine with the original which if you mirror the object it will automatically merge those objects together. You can choose to merge border vertices, bridge border edges or you can choose not to merge. We are going to leave that at default as well. So let's hit the mirror button and as soon as we hit the mirror command you can see that our object has been mirrored and let's go into our object mode and you can see it's a single object. Now you can delete the center edge if you want to delete the center edge. So this is how you mirror objects but there's also another way of mirroring an object if you didn't model your object initially with mirroring in mind and you have your object uh, off the axis or for some reason you cannot use the mirror option let's delete the other half of our object again you can simply duplicate this object and scale it in the minus axis right now we are working with the x axis so i'm going to scale it in minus one and then you can snap it to the other object right now our pivot is at the edge but if your pivot is not the edge you can snap your pivot by pressing down the d key and you can snap your pivot to the vertex that you want to join and then release the d key and you can again press the v key to snap to vertex and then snap it back to the other half of the object that you want to weld it to and there's one more thing that we need to do let's select both of the objects that we want to merge we first need to combine those objects you can combine them by going to your mesh menu and select combine from here or you can simply shift right click on your object and choose the combine option from your marquee menu this will combine your object but your object is still not merged if you go to our vertex mode and select the vertex at the edge and move it you can see that the vertexes are still not merged together now in order to do that let's select all of our center vertexes and go to your edit mesh and click on the merge option now this will give you a threshold pop-up menu right now our vertexes are on top of one another so 0.01 vertex will work for us but if your vertexes are farther apart you can increase that threshold now if we finalize that by going back to our move tool and select the single vertex now you can see that it is now merged now there are a few more ways you can merge two vertices together so if we undo our merge and move our objects a little bit farther apart and let's combine them again you can also merge two vertices together at the center by selecting two distance vertices and go back to your edit mesh and select merge to center from here and that will merge your vertexes to the center you can also use another tool go to your mesh tools and select the target weld from here now in the target weld you can select one vertex and hold your left mouse button and drag it to the other vertex that you want to weld it to and that tool will drag the vertex that you initially selected and then merge it at the point of your final selection you can also do that with edges let's go to the edge mode you can weld two edges together and the same thing is going to happen it's going to take the edge that you initially selected and it's going to merge it to your final selection now these are the few ways you can mirror an object and merge different components together i hope you enjoyed this video and as always if you like this video subscribe to the channel leave a like drop a comment and if you want to support me directly link to my merge store and my patreon is in the description down below and i'll see you in the next video